Also Dr. Abe Jacob oversees quality and safety for the entire M Health Fairview system. Obviously, with COVID, that's taken on increasing importance. We asked him several questions, including one Keith sent by email about when most Minnesotans will get the vaccine. I would be surprised if in the next four weeks that a lot of you know the health systems didn't have larger vaccination operations up and running. Even that, though, depends on whether the federal government gives Minnesota more weekly doses. Claire also emailed, what is the definition of underlying conditions? New CDC guidelines mean people with those are now eligible for vaccination. That could include age. So anyone clearly over the age of 75, over the age of 65, you know, and, and going down, uh, any, anyone with underlying cardiac conditions or uh, uh, poorly controlled diabetes or neurologic conditions. It's, it's still not clear how we uh, want to identify it and then validate whether that's true, right? On Facebook, Lori Jean hopes hospitals are also reserving second doses of vaccine. While that limits vaccinating more people quickly, the doctor says giving out more doses isn't ideal either. So there is a risk that if I got a, you know, one dose a couple of weeks ago and didn't get my booster, that uh, my immunity could wane and then we're doing this all over again, you know, in a few months, right? In another email, Steve asked, what is the shelf life of the current vaccines? Kept in its required deep freeze, the Pfizer vaccine can last six months. If you just stick like the Pfizer vaccine in a regular refrigerator or freezer below, just below freezing, you know, then it can last about five days. You know, once it's at room temperature and it's diluted, then you're talking about it can only last for a few hours. The Moderna vaccine is much more flexible, and Dr. Jacob is asking people to be that way as well, as experts work as efficiently and safely as possible in such unprecedented times. Jennifer Hoff, CARE 11 News.